The book Impossible Love talks about how we got together, it talks about our relationship. So in that sense, it's a love story. But at a deeper level, it's an even deeper love story because it's the story of God's love and God's faithfulness, not only to us, but to all of his children. And it talks about his, his faithfulness in the midst of hard times. Medin is a war refugee and, and so on. He's ultimately the, the real hero of the book. We are um, maybe the characters out in front, but the one who really holds things together is the Lord. Yeah, and I think about God's redeeming grace and love in the sense that we were two different people who were lonely and didn't know if we'll have a second chance, and God came and just redeemed not only our lives, but our lives together to make something beautiful. So, yes, I'm grateful. Do you want to talk some about your experience in the war? It's about half the book. Experience in the war. Uh, you mean showing how God's God's love was there, God's faithfulness. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, talking about the war is a big thing. I can't talk about everything, but just emphasizing things like um, we did not have much. Uh, we didn't have enough food. We didn't have clean drinking water, we didn't have medicine, we didn't have the basics of life. But in the midst of that, God was there. He was really uh, the anchor for us, the, the hope and the strength came for him, knowing that he was there and we can go to the next step. Um, and as we went through war, I mean, I saw God's grace and faithfulness. He provided in so many different ways, provided food. People who didn't even know us came and gave us something to eat uh, or took us into the fields so we can eat. Uh, when we were walking and walking, sometimes just a wind will come and uh, wild fruit will be falling on the ground for us to eat. Um, even though we drank water from puddles and stuff, but he was there, he was faithful. And he was also faithful in just encouraging us in our faith, uh, letting us know that despite what you're going through, I'm here. Even if you don't see me today, I'm here. So he was there guiding us and um, just showing us his grace and faithfulness.